And welcome back to Wendy's Friday Night Football. You know, we see great individual defensive performances all the time, but it's not often that you hear this much talk about a defensive player getting so much consideration for the league's most outstanding player, but that's exactly what we're getting with Cam Wake. And for more on that story, let's take you out live to Commonwealth Stadium, where Brian Williams is standing by tonight. Hi, Brian. Hi, Dave. It's like spring here tonight in Edmonton. You talked about Cam Waite. You know, in the long history of the Canadian Football League, no defensive player has ever been named the overall outstanding player. Well, here in the West, there's plenty of talk that could change this year. And the player they're talking about is BC defensive end Cameron Waite. With 20 sacks, he's closing in on the single-season sack record of 26.5, held by the great James Quick Parker. However, as I found out earlier this week in Vancouver, there's a lot more to Cameron Wake than just sacks. The most dominant player in the Canadian Football League right now, number 91, Cameron Wake. I mean, Cam is so dangerous because he has everything, you know, speed, power, quickness, everything you need. If I gotta explain Cam Wake's style, basically, it's just tenacious. I mean, he's truly a freak of nature. He truly is. And for those who don't know, consider this your wake-up call. The CFL has indeed woken up to Cameron Wake's talent. His unrelenting pursuits have left quarterbacks asking who or what just hit me. Wake's football career is now starting to soar, but it almost didn't get off the ground. Man, it's, it was, it's funny now, but it definitely wasn't funny then. Two years ago, after being cut by the New York Giants, Wake was given a tryout with the BC Lions, but he never arrived. Wake's agent told him to show up at Howard University in Washington, D.C. The tryout, though, was three hours south in Hampton, Virginia. It's my big day, you know, I'm getting ready, you know, can't sleep at night, everything, and I get there, I'm warming up, and he's kind of looking around like, I, don't, I would expect to be more than, you know, me here, you know. <laughs> And uh, it's just time started going, you know, I was early, so I'll, maybe they'll come later, maybe a couple guys will show up, but nobody showed. Wake had missed his chance, or so he thought. But days later, the Lions called and invited him to their rookie camp, sight unseen. So we had Cam come up for rookie camp. After the very first time he went one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, we knew that he was going to be a very good player. As it turned out, that assessment was an understatement. All day! All day! Wake has cut out all distractions from his life. He has no TV, no computer, and doesn't party. In fact, his only goal is transforming his body into the perfect defensive weapon. I don't want this to happen again. I don't want to get released. I don't want to get cut. So I said, you know what? I'll make friends later. You know, I'll party later. I'll do all that stuff later. That stuff to me seemed as a distraction and I didn't need it. It's quite possible the CFL has never seen a player cut from Wake's mold. His incredible speed, power, leaping ability have led teammates to dub Wake the athletic freak. He encapsulated it and, and sort of sold it to all of us last year because we were having some silly competition in the locker room and like we have 12, 13 foot ceilings, maybe higher than that. And, we, and someone climbed up on a ladder and I think stuck a, a toonie or a $5 bill to the top and said anyone that, you know, that can grab this, we'll give them whatever. And of course, everyone gave it a shot. No one's even close. We're talking, you know, feet away. And Cam just kind of comes along out of nowhere and just jumped up and grabbed it and sort of like problem solved. Right now, it appears anything and everything is within Wake's reach, including the CFL's top individual award. In the history of the CFL, no defensive player has ever been named the overall outstanding player. Is this the year? I mean, if not now, when? You know, when, what, what is a defensive player going to have to do? I just think people devalue what a defensive player does, and that's why the, the most outstanding player isn't as much of a consideration every year for a defensive guy. But if I don't understand how he can't be. But Wake isn't concerned with awards. After all, his career almost ended before it really started, and that experience has taught him what's truly important. There was a time when football wasn't in my life, and I know how it feels not to have it. And so I cherish every day, every game, every practice for what it's worth.
you know, when he tried out with the New York Giants, he was called Junior Strahan in reference to the great Giants star Michael Strahan. They've both got the gap in the teeth, the wide grin and the infectious personality, and of course, they're both outstanding players. Fellas, as we throw it back to you in the studio, look, I'm not sure he should be named outstanding player. You can make an awfully good case for it, but it certainly does make for some interesting discussion. Thank you very much, Brian.